FTSE 100 is the UK's biggest stock market and one of the biggest stock markets in the world and it is great for day trading, swing trading, all types of trading. It offers many opportunities. Now if you're in the US you can trade it with futures, options, you know, ETFs and if you're in the rest of the world you could use CFDs or spread betting but it does offer, like I say, great opportunity and in today's chart of the day I'm going to have a look at the technical analysis and see what it's been up to over the last year or so and where it could be heading next. Hello, I'm Stephen Ho, trader and founder of The Stop Hunter. So before we can carry on, a risk warning for you to pay close attention to. The content in this video is not investment advice, so please seek the advice, help of financial professionals or financial advisors before investing and trading. And trading and investing involves a high degree of risk and your money is at risk, so be very careful. So with that out the way, let's get on with the analysis. So into the weekly line chart with the Fibonacci, just to give us a long-term perspective, we've got five years worth of data. We can see, you know, those years ago, the FTSE sort of got stuck around those mid 7,000s. And then beginning of 2020, a dramatic sell-off down to around about 5,000. And since then, it's actually had a very strong recovery and 2021 it's up about 10 12 percent year to date so not too bad in terms of um, stock markets it's probably been you know trailing and it and is quite highly correlated to the s p 500 it sort of got through the brexit phase and now starting to settle down and in terms of price around that 78.6 Fibonacci line which is just around 7200 it looks like it is now coming into some noise so that's going to be interesting is it going to go up from here and then settle into that next range between 72 and 78 or is it going to go back down towards that 61.8 percent Fibonacci line at just above 6700 now these are a longer term viewpoint but they're also useful Fibonacci lines for finding support and resistance and potential targets but at the moment we you know it's been a bumpy ride up but it is looking reasonably bullish at the moment so what can we take away from the daily Heikinashi chart if we go to the signals at the bottom starting to warm up again they had been coming off and the RSI crossing there to start to look a bit more bullish the regression is still in the red bearish phase but could be turning back but it's certainly looking more positive volatility nothing unexpected there just drifting um, within its usual range now if we go up to the price I put on the usual uh, regression trend line there and we can see that actually over the last year the price does stay normally within that two standard deviation range and in regards current price well it's sort of hovering just below or on the box um, set up at the bottom there you know it's just trying to I know consolidate and it's hovering between a sell and a neutral signal at the moment in the shorter term but the trend has been up over 2021 and you know it's not looking too bad actually for the FTSE 100 it doesn't look dramatically successful but it doesn't look too bad and you know you could call it a weak bullish you know scenario there so the Renko chart I've used a 35 block here in this chart again for a bit more aggressive action if we hit the signals at the bottom turning a bit more bullish in the shorter term in terms of the bands that's those orange lines there the price sitting in the middle at the moment waiting for it to poke its head above through them which will probably be around about the 7 200 area probably I've added on Fibonacci uh, trend 
um, extension here to see what's going on taking it down to the lows of November of 2020 and that's given us our potential support and resistance lines to the downside it's quite a long way down you know six seven hundred points to the six five thousand area and that's you know being if you've been very conservative probably some support before that around six eight hundred and if it can break up here we're talking seven five seven six hundred again so Renko all looking very positive now with all that information from the three charts let's pull it all together and summarize the lot so I'm going to give the FTSE 100 a weak bullish overall score for the chart of the day only because really things are looking a bit more neutral and weak in terms of the technical analysis at the moment yeah the longer term has been reasonably bullish but at the moment I'm just you know got that feeling it's looking a bit more weak bullish and if we go into the targets then upside downside pretty similar so you've got to factor in you know maybe some other fundamentals to give you a reason for the direction either bullish or bearish but for me if you're taking it purely on the technicals then you know it's a weak bullish signal so the FTSE 100 not looking greatly exciting but there is a lot of positives to take away there technical analysis certainly looking more positive probably a lot of fundamental factors in there that could drive that but if you're a pure technician then you would probably be more bullish on the FTSE 100 let me know in the comments below what you think of the FTSE 100 do you trade it have you got strategies around it where do you think the price is going next and if you've liked today's technical analysis please follow the link in the description below if you want to learn more and if you like today's video please give us the thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell buttons to receive future notification of content I'm going to produce just like this and all that's left for me to say is thanks for watching good luck with the trading and I'll see you in the next video